Hey, what's going on, y'all? This is Nichols of World. This is Grand Canyon University class for communications. And I am doing my assignment for communications on the one and the only Jennifer Hudson. Jennifer Hudson is a well-known singer and actress. She currently hosts a talk show that started last September and has had a positive impact on her audience. Jennifer Hudson talk show reaches millions of people on a daily basis. Jennifer leads by example and practices what she preaches. She has been through many trials that has shaped her show to highlight community involvement and positive influence to others. Jennifer Hudson's life. Jennifer was born and raised in Chicago, Illinois, and represents all things Chicago. All Team Chicago. That's her with her son David. And her favorite team in the world is Chicago Bulls. So if you ever go to an NBA All-Star game. At, or any type of event that involves singing. You're always going to see her and having a good time. She's a single mother of one. And is the youngest child of three. She has her own talk show. The Jennifer Hudson Show. And is currently working on an album as we speak. She is... The 17th EGOT winner. And if you want to know what EGOT is, that's Emmys, Grammys, Oscars, and Tonys. Jennifer Hudson has gone through trials and tribulations. Growing up, all she ever wanted to do was become a singer, um, sing, dance, act. And she went to American Idol and her mom and and her best friend Walter always said, you know, you can do it. They made a pact when they were 11. They said, you know what? You can do it. You got this. Well, she auditioned for American Idol and she got seventh. But it it was an act of God that, that stopped her from getting first place because she, there was a storm, a, a tornado that happened and you know, it knocked out the power. So all of her friends and her family members in Chicago could not vote for her at all. So it's like, imagine going to a basketball game and you can't play because, you know, the coaches and, and you know, you couldn't wear shoes to a game. I mean, it, you, you're, you're automatically, you're at a disadvantage. So she got seventh place. It was an active guy that happens. And on top of that too, she lost her mom, her brother, and her nephew to gun violence. But she didn't let that stop her. She she could have folded. She could have said, I can't do it. Um, it it's, you know, I'm, it's too hard for me. But with, through everything she went through, she prevailed and, and she became the EGOT. When she lost her mom, her brother, and her nephew, she wanted to honor them, and she decided to do the Julian D. King Foundation, which is the foundation on school supplies for kids that need them, so that way, all they got to focus on is just getting school uh, school clothes, and and that's it, you know, and, and that's, you know, that's very... You know that that's that's a great person right there, and see that's her, her and her sister, um, honoring their family, man, and that that's love right there. That's all love. Ega winner, so number seventeen, Amy Grammy Oscar Tony, you know, Amy for Baba Yaga, um, Grammy for best R and B album, you know, she had Spotlight. Girl, I do like. Living under you. I, mean, I don't know if you ever heard it. Or if it is love. Or even color purple. You know, it was another one. Um, Oscar for Dream Girls. Uh, Dream Girls is a very, 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 very famous show. Um, fa famous movie. And, you know, and she she did the things. Best supporting actress. She got it. Won an Oscar. And then uh, she got a Tony for a Strange Loop musical. So she's always been in the music scene. And she's always been slain. The Jennifer Hudson Show. So this happened last season, right? Last season. And as you can see from left to right, you, know, you got her producers. You got her best friend, Walter. You got one of the goats, Andy. You got Mary. Um, 
uh, you got Ms. Black, you know, on the far right. Um, I don't know these other guys' names, but otherwise I won't say their names. But, you know, she has a very, very dope, uh, you know, family that's always with her. And, you know, they're, they always back her up 100%. And they bring a positivity to this show, unlike any other. And here's an example right here. Jennifer Hudson, so some of the top moments she has, so like, she has Knockstar. Knockstar is like one of the, you know, one of my favorite segments where she goes and she knocks on the door and she surprises people at their house and and she gives them a chance with money and they can sing, they can dance, they can go crazy. And that's all me right there. Heroes, everyday heroes. You know, they've had a lot of great moments. They had uh, this family that was cooking for people during COVID. They also had... A girl who was pregnant that saved a family from a car crash. And then she also had, there was a, a daughter who saved her family from a fire. And then she's crashing weddings. And then this viral moment where she's saying to someone in the audience went viral. And these are like the special iconic moments that she has as well. So, not to mention too, you know, you gotta, when you're glamming up, when you're styling and you're looking good... You know, and, and you're looking fresh and you're looking fly. You know, you got to have that that person back you up. And her designer, V, v Vanessa, you know, she's she's always doing it. You know, she, she's always bringing the good clothes and the good vibes and good energy to her. And that's why Mama Hud's always looking flawless, you know, because she got that. She's got that that girl in the corner that's showing her love every single day. And she's always looking good all the time. So that is my communications speech i hope you love it as much as i do and who knows maybe someday i'll go to the show someday be able to sit in the audience or get a knock on the door or something dope like that but thank you for for tuning in thank you for uh for reaching in for communications it is nick navarro at grand canyon university and i am out